Arm bars, giving you everything you need to know to understand arm bars from all the different positions, including getting them, finishing them, defending against them. A real complete guide to give you some real depth and ownership with your arm bar game. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Coach Tom, this is Matt. We are here today to talk about arm bars, giving you everything you need to know to understand arm bars from all the different positions, including getting them, finishing them, defending against them. A real complete guide to give you some real depth and ownership with your arm bar game, okay? Before we get started, guys, you send me messages every day asking where you can buy the rash guards I wear in here. We finally have them for sale at xmarshall.com. The link is below. Um, thank you for your support, guys, of the channel. Let's have a look at some awesome arm bars. So if I've got Matt here, guys, we can do lots of arm bars. I'll demonstrate a few arm bars to get us started. We can arm bar from the guard, okay? If I'm able to sweep Matt O and get to the top, I now put myself in positions here where I can arm bar from the top, okay? Anytime I'm able to expose an armpit, I have an ability to arm bar, okay? He pushes up my knee, him up. I can arm bar. What did all those arm bars have in common? Well, if Matt's on his back, the arm bar occurs when the arm is straight. So let's look at the physics of the ending. I must control Matt, knee squeeze, feet down. I have a straight arm and my fulcrum, which is my hip, will be close to his shoulder. I don't want my hip moving too far away because as soon as it's past his elbow, there's no arm bar. It's a sore groin, <laughs> okay? So you always want hips in close to that shoulder girdle, okay? So in close. Sometimes it might not even be the hip per se. Like when you're going for an arm bar from knee ride, your shin might go in there, but it's still my hip that's close to that shoulder girdle. Because as soon as my hips, that's my hips here, as soon as my hips go to the elbow, it's out. You'll soon realize that if you put the elbow right in the middle, the fulcrum is like your bladder or your groin, even worse. So putting the arm over the side of your hip will let you use your hip bone which is much, much harder and stronger and narrower and higher than your bladder. So you're gonna find it's a much better armbar. But when it comes to getting the armbars, guys, from all sorts of different positions, getting the hips to the armpit is the key. Let's have a look at that from the bottom when Matt's here. So often, guys, especially if people lean on your throat like this, anytime I'm able to ground his elbow before I'm on my chest, I can turn and get the armbar but look how my hips lifted off the ground. That's the key right here. My hips came up and into that armpit here. So watch them lift. My right leg lets me lift and then this comes over the head, okay? Some of you here will get into arm bars and then they stack you up like this. It's very effective. So two things to bear in mind. One, cover up his ear and eyes. Now he goes to do that, good luck. Now don't go too far this way, slip off. Don't stay too far here, it's secure, but there's no power. You, I like to try to cover his ear and eyes, and then you control that entire person, okay? Sometimes when you do arm bars, guys, you're gonna get stacked up. So sometimes I try to maybe cover his ear, he still stacks me up. Okay, what I can do is if we go back, what I can do guys is spin under. So if you look at my right hand here, it goes under his knee and when he stacks me, it goes to the other knee. So it goes to the far knee. And now all I do is bring my head to that location and you see here, I've got what we call a spin under armbar. Thumb facing away, I have him right here. And if I wanted to be conservative, I could roll him over and finish from the top, okay? So one of the big things with arm bars is you wanna be a little bit discreet when you're going for them. If you grab onto a girl or guy's arm, what do you think? They know you're not there to massage them. They're like, gonna be sus as. They're gonna pull that arm out. 
So sometimes by uh, just holding gently onto the arm or even attacking another body part, you can actually get them to present that arm. So if Matt's on his back, if I wanted to arm by Matt from now, the worst thing for me to do would be like grab his arm. That would yield a complete pullback and it would lose the arm. But instead, see, if I start to come in and choke Matt's neck, look how he just lifted his arms up, exposing his armpits, exposing his humerus for me to collect, all right? So you'll soon learn that the more you attack necks, the more arms you get and vice versa. Of course, if I attack the arms all the time, he'll row his hands down and then he'll give me the choke on the neck, okay? So when you are in armbar positions, it's super important to understand what can go wrong. Now we looked at a quick little hack when they stack us up and we spin under. Super good, all right? But whenever we're in an armbar position, I'll just move myself into one here. One of the biggest problems beginners have is people just holding onto their arms. So people hold onto their arms. There's lots of different ways, okay? I'll show you a couple of different breaks based on a couple of different positions so people can hold their arms. This is a pretty typical one. Any form of hand-to-hand -hand grip, okay? Anytime they grip hand-to-hand -hand on me, like this, usually I'll just go twin heels. Pin, squeeze, extend, okay? So twin heels, little penguin feet. A lot of time people are gonna do really robust uh, defenses to this, guys. And one of the best ones is you do a rear naked choke and tuck that hand underneath here. This is how I would hold my hands if I had to start in this position. This is what I would train my students to do. So understanding how to deal with this is super important because if you don't, you're gonna lose an arm and the guy's gonna get on top. So what you wanna do is you have to hold on to one arm. So whenever you're fighting for an armbar, guys, you can't lose the arm. So you're gonna to have to have one arm in there, elbow deep. So in this case scenario, it'll be really hard for me to get my left hand through there. So I go right hand through and I'm starting to pry on my thigh like this. So you see here, I'm trying to keep that tight. Don't let him hold his arm where he wants it. Watch the pry bar. Pry bar, add tension. Now that we've got tension, it's quite simple. See that elbow there? I'm gonna palm strike that thing. Here, he can't see it. And it's not gonna hurt. Boom! And it's gonna break apart. Now, when it breaks apart, you can't try to grab it because by the time you try to grab it, he tucks it back in and you're like, ah, oh, damn it, and that's gonna be so hard. He's gonna hold on so tight. So what you do, you add tension, you break it, and then this elbow slides up to the end of the lever, and now I have my arm bar right here, okay? So one last time, he's holding off. See how I slid my elbow up? That now lets me control the end of the lever. So now it's my whole body against Matt's bicep. So when he goes to pull that down, that's bicep. I've got my whole body pulling it back. Keep the thumb facing up and extend. I use this grip a lot. Of course, sometimes you're here for the umba and I can't get it. Maybe look, I can't get it, right? Anytime you can't get it, chokes connect to arm bars, arm bars connect to chokes, and arm bars connect to the back, and the back connects to arm bars. So, ready? One, two, three. And now I'm here in a choking position. If that fails, I can go back to the arm bar. If he wants to pull the arm bar, I can pull him up, get to my finishing position from the back here. If he defends, arm bar, okay? So understanding how chokes and arm bars interact, Understanding how the back and arm bars interact. Understanding what he's trying to do when I arm bar him, okay, is gonna give me everything I need to do to finish the arm bar, okay? If you find yourself getting caught in arm bars, it probably means you need to do more arm bars. If you look at all the courses I have on the website, the Grappling Academy, where we've got a whole bunch of courses, nearly every one of the courses at some point has some form of arm bar in it. We all need to get good at arm bars, okay guys? But hopefully these principles will help you learn them all and master them all. And you've been taught not just a few arm bars, but the principles of the arm bars. Taught you how to fish, so you can fish the rest of your life for those arm bars. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget you can check out all of our merchandise on the Teespring link below. We've got those new rash guards. We've got our full website with free and premium courses. Don't forget to hit subscribe guys. I appreciate you watching and I look forward to uh, being back here next week and looking at a new technique. Awesome.